What is up guys, Minishcap1 here. I'm going to be showing you what I think is potentially one of the better singed map pressure items. Uh, and I guess just split push items as well. But this item, Warmog's Armor in Season 14, gives it gives 750 health, 5% move speed. And if you have at least 1300 bonus health, you get 10% additional movement speed and you get the 5% health per second regen. So what you what this actually says is if you have Wormogs in your inventory, which gives 750 on its own, then what you only need is an additional 550 health. Now Leandri's first item gives you 300 health. I had my in my runes I have grasp and overgrowth, and I think you can see where this is going. It's I actually really don't have an additional um health shard, but grasp and overgrowth combined with Leandri's should give me an additional at least 150 bonus health. By the time that I finish Warmog's item 2, which will give me 15% move speed out of combat, combine that with Demolish. Uh, on, in, in addition to the uh, out of combat healing, I'm going to be a absolute healing machine. And healing and split pushing machine. So I'm going to try and get some solo kills on Kale with, uh, with Grasp and see how that goes, but maybe I'm not able to. A decent Grasp chunk there. Um, you could run this with Aftershock. You could run this with any sort of setup, honestly, as long as you have Overgrowth and try and get your... Ooh, is Grasp is actually Grasp good against Kale? She's actually pretty scared of me, level one here. Oh, never mind. She's actually kicking my ass still. Of course she is. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. I forgot I'm still, uh, I'm still playing Singed. No worries. But I did get two Grasp procs on her, which is good. Which is how much HP? 14 health. Actually, that's quite a bit uh, on just two procs. Considering that between Overgrowth and... Grass, we just need 150 bonus. You could go for the um, health scaling secondaries if you wanted to not run Demolish or not run Resolve and just not worry about hitting turrets, but I feel like the point of having an item that lets you sustain in side lane and split push is hitting turrets, so why not just try and hit turrets, right? So I'm pretty sure that Shivana's gonna come top, so I'm gonna try and just execute to the wave. If she hasn't cleared these yet, she's gonna, so. Not gonna kill these, just gonna walk it into the turrets. And execute. execute. Grab boots. Do I need potion? I probably should grab a potion as well, but this should help the wave push back towards me and I'll try and solo kill kill. As it comes around. So here's Shivana right here. Doing a super slow full clear. I feel, I feel like she would have been there by now, but I'm not gonna complain that hard, I guess. Oh, it's a call start kill. Alright, with lethal tempo, yeah, definitely would have a problem. Just try and poke her down. Potentially killable here. I do have Ignite Ghost if uh, Lilia wants this. And I assume the kill just looks for a Q on me as well. I'll hold my, I'll hold my Ignite, might as well. Yeah, she's just gonna look for the death, so. We got Babus on the kill, apparently. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if I can grab this wave over here. I don't really want to, um, what I want to do is let the wave push towards me. That's why I'm looking over here to grab the wave. I, I wanted to I crash into her turret. I actually messed up and let one minion go, but I wanted to crash under turret. That way, it'll push back towards me and she's forced to play into me, so that's why I'm doing that. And it's not six minutes yet, so there's no point in me... It's not six minutes yet, so there's no point in me trying to... Sorry, five minutes trying to go for the plate there, but... We want to try and kill, that's why I do that. Now I have a big way pushing into me. Yeah, she has an XP advantage, but... I still have Ignite. And I know that she is holding her teleport as well, so... Why overforce if she's holding her defensive? Or her utility spell? I could've gotten Swifties, maybe it's good against her Q, but... I'm not super worried, just walk back here. Last hit, charge my grasp. And eventually when she walks up, let's go for the fight. Let's see if she walks up, she might be too scared. Which is good though. It's also good to have Kale scared and preventing her from farming and getting as much gold as she normally would. You have to really just kind of adjust your whole place all against this champion when you're playing Singe because... Like... A decent counter pick to you. Because normally Singe lacks early pressure, but that's why... The ignite and the grass and everything. So there's her Q. Probably not super smart to waste that like that. I can go for a demolish proc here as well, actually. I have a double stack wave also. And she's playing so far back. She's not even last hitting, so. Might as well. 
actually not afraid of their jungler even a little bit, so. That's a lot of that's a lot of damage. I actually have such a big wave I can go for two plates here. She knows that now too, she's gonna hit me instead. I think I'm out, because if she flash E's, I'm still alive, I believe. Well, she did lose a full wave for it, and there's three top, and we're getting two turret plates bottom, so I mean, that sucks. And we got dragons, so, I mean, that sucks, but. I mean, does it? <laughs> does it really? <laughs> Look, I got so much value there, even though I died to kill. I feel like I should have just held my ult, though. I could have maybe, maybe turned it around whenever I come back to lane, but it's all good. She still has ult, I gotta worry about that. Maybe I should turn on Rel there too, because Rel is level four. Mix, mix, but no worries. Mix. I'm fairly certain Kale still has teleport. I'm not gonna push this like I normally would. We're just gonna wait, last hit, be super patient. I I, I will solo kill her. I swear I'll do it. We got one from the gank, but I want a solo bolo. It's about ego at this point. No, I also have ignite coming up. Just hold the wave right here. As long as I can. Let my ult charge up. There's Kale. Is she a yeah, blasting wand? Okay. Pretty certain I went it all in. Those are the grass and ignite. I hear you. My grass procs. 28 health. Not bad. Versus the melee champion, I'd have way more, but not that big of a deal, I think. Okay, when my ult is up, we can try something. Or just go now. Nope. Ult up soon, just go. Hit it out, don't eat autos for free. Let her lethal tempo wear off a bit. Okay, going back in. Never mind, get hit by it. I think she ults there if she wants to survive. Nope, she doesn't ult because she thought she would live and then she died, let's go. I was like, I'm gonna hold my ignite and then come back around under her turret and kill her, but then she just took the death. I think she thought she would live. Here's her TP, I believe, there it is, yeah. But I get my demolish proc. <laughs> I don't think you're killing me, Kale. I don't believe it, buddy. She also didn't cue the wave there. Very odd. I told you I'd get a solo kill. Actually, gonna do something controversial. I'm not actually no. I will go for my blasting one because I think it's more useful if I get ganked to be able to, hold, to use my ignite and kill somebody else as opposed to if because if I wanted to go swifties, I totally could and run her down again. But I have a feeling that Shivana or Rel is gonna be here, so I'm gonna ping her flash. I swear she flashed. I don't think she did though. I'm gonna ping it just in case. Maybe Lily will come. But now we just rinse repeat. Super slow last hits. I hear you. <laughs> and attempt to solo kill again. Actually, if she recalled, I can go for a plate. Let's just check. I believe she did actually. Oh, no, she's here. Okay. Shivana there as well. I think I just looked at my plate though. Sing. I think she's dead though. Yeah. And she did in fact lose the wave for that. So I mean, it does suck for me to die, but I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain about that one. Cause I know she has no TP. And they did send a lot top again. I believe the um, Shivana wants to try and go for these though. Ooh, Vlad, you're, you're big here though, bud. You're big here. I think we just turn and focus these though, yeah? 
Oh, why does he get her? He gets her. Nice. Let's go. That's huge. I'm locking up for these. I would like to have at least some grubs. If I'm going to split push, I want I want a few. Or my Phileas. He's dead to UN Shen Pedia. That's <laughs> very unfortunate name. Oh my god. Holy dude. Okay. I think we can get these. I have Landry's on them. There should be a 3 for 3 on the grub, which will be nice. I know that kill has definitely has no flash no flash ult now. Okay, I'm gonna kill our pink ward here too. I don't think so, bud. This is my pink ward. I don't have ult yet, I don't have ignite yet, so I don't wanna overforce. But I definitely can poke this turret. I have more than enough bonus health to activate my Wormogs now as well when I buy it item 2. Okay. There's my turret plate. Because I have how much? I have 56 health from Grasp, and I have 114 from Overgrowth, so yeah, I have more than enough. <laughs> oh no, UN Shen PDF is getting fed. He's in a school zone run. <laughs> I go Swifties, and then we build for Wormogs, which also builds out of. You guessed it, when you get Moonplate, we're gonna be fast as hell. I just run Swifties now, too, is uh, whenever Kill pushes up, I can hopefully run her down. I guess I should put a ward right there. To seek I think I had Dragon, I'm too worried. I'm pretty sure I can kill her here. What I'll do is I'll wait over here inside, and then whenever she, or in the tribush, whenever she walks up, we just go for it. They think she's gonna wanna go for the plate. Oh yeah, so it's over for you, Kill. It's already done, Zo, brother. Take a grass proc too while I'm at it. This is turret first blood as well, I believe. I'm gonna let the. I, normally I wouldn't play this sweaty, but it's Kale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the turret try and kill her cannon. So usually I would never do this. Usually I'm not this. Even in challenger games, I don't sweat this hard, but. Because she picked Kale. I want the turret. I want the cannon to kill. Get killed by turret. English is hard. It's nearly time. Nice Kale. So I'll look for one more wave behind turret. Every little bit of gold does make a difference. I see Shivana. I don't think they're killing me though. Not easily. Yeah, I think so, bud. I did a lot of damage to her though. I'm gonna go back in here. Oh shit, there's a soul on me. Bud, what are you doing? It's over for you. I got a soul, not ignite. I chose to give it to you, Vlad. That is the world's fastest rel. All right, build towards this. We can sell potion now, I think. Oh god, that twitch is gonna be scary. He has Bork too. That's one of your main enemies with this setup. Is you don't want to play Wormogs against percent. Max health, true damage, top laners. Camille Fiora Vein. And you don't want to play this against a Fed AD carry. So, but you can't really control the Fed AD carry part because he'll, he'll eventually get Lord Doms, but it's all good. We can eventually get Zonyas as well and helps a lot with that. Your team has destroyed a Armor item gives no health, so better value against Lord Doms. And it gives AP, so you kill faster and it gives you invulnerability. The reason why I bring up Lord Dom so much is it did get buffed this patch. Oh, hello. Kaylee okay, might be in trouble. I mean, you got a recall. You're in a lot of danger, man. He walked back in poison, too. Grass proc! Oh, no, Rel is there, but I think I'm alive! No, I died! <laughs> I got stun locked. Hate to see it. Acel got it, at least, not Twitch. 
All right. Yeah, so I have 84 health from Grasp, 166 from Overgrowth. We're getting there. With just Overgrowth, I have more than enough, but I wanted to go Grasp for laning phase against kill. I usually don't even run Grasp, but because of the setup, it does give me a little bit of extra health for Demolish that I would eventually miss. I don't think it, I think Athelios lives here, yeah. I can actually sell my Deering for Wormlogs, but I hate to sell Deering because it is... Oh, kill his TP bottom. To shake or not to shake. I hate to sell Deering because my only mana regen is Singed, but I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I just want to activate my item. That is a really fat Aesol ult. Well, I have 15% bonus move, so I'm just going to go ahead and run down here. I'm 438 out of combat right now. Bye bye, Aesol. You're dead. I could ghost for these guys, but I just don't I just don't think it's worth it. Like, without my ult up, I think the Twitch shreds me. I think that's the main problem here. But Yep, I do have my Wormogs activated. <laughs> you really notice not having Doran's ring as soon as you as soon as you sell it. Oh, it's so apparent. All right, let's get out of here. Actually, we're fighting over here. Okay, I'm gonna walk over. Hmm, I could ult for it, but it just seems not worth it. Oh, there's a Rel, though. Definitely fight her. Switch back here. Let's go for him instead. <laughs> I think I lived actually. Holy shit. Wait, is my Warmog's not activating? Why is that not activating? But since I have 1273 bonus health, I, I definitely have more than enough to activate that. That's really weird. Let's go ahead and just build towards. That's really weird that's not activating. I definitely have more than... Okay. Maybe I just did math wrong? I don't know. Because Leandry is 300. Oh, wait. I'm stupid. It's 550, not 450. Whoops. Because Leandry's plus 150 is actually... 450, not 550. I'm dumb. Oh, well. Now I have it. Wasn't going to Rift Maker anyway, so it works out. Yeah, look. Now I'm 473 movies out of combat. I, I was wondering... Kind of like curious why I wasn't activating. I said the math wrong in my brain. Okay. Hey, right, listen, I play League and not a math major, alright? Big demolish croc. Give me some more grasp health as well. Oh shit. Easy run away. But I'm already healed up, so. Grab all these shards as well. I think I can 1v1 the kill if she walks up. The reason why I ward there is because if I fling her into the bush, I want to have vision of her. Surely she just walks forward like a moron, right? Does she not? Wow. I thought she would. Okay, no worries. Let's grab this wave. I feel really dumb for not doing basic math. Oh boy. Mixed Truly, mixed. my Indian heritage would be disappointed. Is she going? I thought for a second she's gonna go. Um, Oh. I have to ult, holy shit, this guy hurts. But I can keep going, because guess what? I have Wormogs. Did they word that? They did word that, okay. Yeah, I was a little worried. Oh, she thinks I recall. She's going to turn the corner and die. 
Or is she just recalling in here? Oh, did she actually go all the way back? Wow. Well, oh, the Shivana's on our tier 3 bot. That's a little awkward. I guess Asol is still here. That's really unfortunate. No worries. Just build towards my Rift Maker. I might have gone Rallies instead. That might have been a bit better, but I can go Rallies later. That's what I get for trying to split push. 3v1 the whole fucking game. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I'm pretty sure she has her R still. Also, wards on the uh, Baron. I can hold Shivana. I'm not worried about her 1v1. I don't even know how she got to tier 2, but... I'm not that concerned about her. Unless I have Ghost next fight as well, so. And that in addition to being super fast out of combat, you get across the map pretty quickly. Mix, 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 mix. Blue buff for my team, DPS this cannon. What really sucks actually is losing the, uh, the shards because I get CDR from them. I can grab some more of them back there too. On my way. Now I can pressure bot tier two super quick or super hard as well. Right. Walking over here for Shivana. Hello. Bye bye. My team should try and do Baron off that. I think. No, my wave, bro. Not my wave. Hey, okay, Vlad got your two top. It's okay. I was not none of my effort there at all. Why are you taking my CS jungler? It's, nearly time. it's fine. No worries, all you bro. This eats some abilities here because I'm gonna heal it up anyways. I wonder if Aesol is here, because he's walking down pretty fast, or pretty hard. You need to clear the vision on that Baron, too, if you want to pressure it. And we catch here. Alright, I'm going to kill this pink ward, because no one on my team can be bothered to move, apparently. Okay, they moved it. That's what I thought. Let's go help Vlad. <laughs> nah, he's a little too fast, whatever. All good. Can take mid turret. Interesting. Oh well, I tried. I got his flash as well, the Aesol. I definitely want Rallies, I think, though. That guy is really annoying. I, bring the light <laughs> I like I just backdoored the turret. <laughs> Dude, Shivana got our bot in hit. What is happening? I feel like I'm doing the laning of four people right now. I'm I'm very confused how this is occurring, but that's fine I guess. I just don't know where everyone is because I am fighting top and mid and bot at the same time as what it feels like. But all good as long as she can take another inhibitor bottom right so. Let's deal with this. Although I guess mana does become an issue eventually trying to kill these. Mana singed. I could do a cosmic drive and just get ults as well. And the ults would help me kill these, but thankfully I can at least tank them and heal with warmogs. Which is something. But eventually my team gets um another blue buff as well, which will help me quite a bit. 
This also helps me right here. If you plant. Nature's bounty. Alright, so kill this. Nice part is super spawn every wave as well, so I'm getting 90 gold per wave where I don't think cannons actually spawn every wave quite yet. I'm waiting on this ace hole to come try and gank me, but he's definitely not. We need to do this, Baron, honestly, if we're gonna try and make something happen. Hmm. Alright, I guess it's gotta be me. Good job, team. Get him, boys. Singe the split pusher, engage, tank, DPS, mage, hyper carry, assassin. That's me, baby. Alright, build towards Rylai's. I kind of do feel like Cosmic might be better, though. Would give me more speed, too, and more ults. Yeah, fuck with Cosmic. I think the fling DPS will be a little bit more ideal here. Also trying to get my team to do Baron. This is very fun. I'm level 16 though, I'm, I'm pretty big. But I think I will need Cosmic for ults. Like I feel like the in the one situation where Soul chases me, it might be better to have Rhinelize, but even then, it's like so hard to justify it I think over Cosmic here. That would just give me more scaling value. Also, moving speed, right? Moving speed, cosmic. Oh, let's walk over here. Dude, can my inhib spawn? I swear it's been dead for so long. On my way. <laughs> An ally has been slain. Yeah, there's a chance they do Baron here. Oh, kills bottom or kills top. Actually, I'm just gonna push. I have, I have big demolishes here. That was the last super minion as well, I believe. For a while, at least. Oh my god. 1100 demolish proc, and my team got some kills. I was ready to give up Baron for this tier 2. Oh, there's a Shivana. I don't think you kill me, though, bro. I believe my team can just do Baron, though, right? With Shivana here. There's no way we don't do Baron. I'm gonna try and catch her. See ya, bud. <laughs> but I got multiple down here now. <laughs> I guess we're getting dragged for it. This is soul for us, too, as well. It's super good to have. I want this turret. Another demolish proc. I will get it. Nice. And dragon soul. Here's Rel trying to do something, not really sure what, but I recall get my cosmic drive. I'll just come back bot. I'll be more of a demon. Why not? Hell, I'll even go for a uh, blighting jewel because the Rel is spamming MR. So now I have a cosmic drive and more mogs. I have 20% out of combat movement speed because the extra 5% on Cosmic. I actually have, uh, actually I have more. I have 22. I have 23% movement speed if you add my rune shard plus. The rune shard plus celerity. Not to mention celerity itself is actually closer to like 2.5% because of the, um, additional 7% on top of it. It's confusingly worded, but trust me, it's a lot. It's nearly time. We'll, we'll call it 23% out of combat for the purpose of video. 
I get across the map very quickly. I could potentially even go dead man's instead, but well, my team should be done. It's fine. Did she die? Would've been so funny if she died. Well, Ace all recall. Ace all dead. See ya. Well, their whole team is here, so. So they push mid then. Oh my god! That's how much demolish? Holy shit, dude! It's like a 1500 demolish proc, holy hell. And I'm gonna heal, and my ult's up soon. Oh, hello. Hello, Rel, how are you? I don't actually think you're fast enough to catch me. Yeah, I'm a bit of a problem. I can handle the pressure of two or three people, if you know what I mean. Can we please do Baron, guys, please? I'm, I'm permanently drawing people. Like, I have so much pressure. Just do Baron. She's so fast. I'm just doing my thing. And if Shivana walks over, then I can actually stop her as well, but. That's poison plus ignite, she's done. Yep. Then Asol jump forward as well. I can maybe catch him. Maybe a little too fast. Nope, he's flashed out. Nice, no worries. I do have uh, <laughs> two more people. Okay. <laughs> I actually just have their entire team down here the, the whole game, so. I'm actually just split pushing against their whole team the whole fucking time. This is crazy. Hey, good job, team. Let's go, let's go boys. And we got Baron. What is my demolish hitting for? 1700 almost on the demolish. That gets up there. Easy and hib. I believe he's in the game. Nice, GG. That is how split pushing is done, when you perma draw the entire enemy team over and over and their jungler. And you just go. Alright, what do we get? Let's see. Once I get my stats. Match history. Alright, I got 37.5k damage. The Twitch had 37.6. But he's also the AD carry in any team, and I am I am but a humble singe, so I'd say pretty good. I had eighteen thousand gold or seventeen point five k. Demolish fifty two seventy one damage. What is my damage to turrets? It should it, I wish it showed damage to structures, but I had eleven point two k damage to turrets. So and I think half of that was one demolish process. So. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one later, boys.